Hello everyone, this is Lisa Ann Clark from the Holistic Healing Ministries. Now I apologize, I did not get to do our regular Thursday night session because I was just extremely tired. We were, we were doing a week-long exercise twice a day doing intercessions and praying for people for nine days. And on Wednesday night, we got a warning about 1.30 that we were to share this message, okay, and warn people about what is to come. But unfortunately, I did not get to do so. So I'm posting it now. I didn't have the time to edit the tape, so please excuse us for the any strange sounds that you may hear happening during the session we were going through consecration and i was pulling you know from people throughout the whole week so please excuse any weird sounds that you might hear but i want you to get a whole gist of what we were hearing from the lord and why nations need to repent not just jamaica but individuals need to repent different countries need to repent and we need to stand against what is happening globally where there want the, the enemy wants there to be an acceptance of demonic worship and it is being done through entertainment through sports through music through these programs with these popular entertainers because they are committing idolatry and are engaged in demonic practices they are exposing it to the world as if it is evangelism and at the same time, God is upset that his people aren't doing the commission. And he says, we're going to be held accountable for what we are not doing. So here goes. If you have any questions, you can email us at holistichealingja at gmail.com. And if you want to see the teaching on the gods, just go to the YouTube page at Holistic Healing Ministries Jamaica, and you can find the Ladies' Night session on the gods. It should be in our playlist, all right? And you'll be able to get more information about not just the gods of the Bible, but the different kingdoms, the different realms and the different kingdoms and the gods who rule the different realms. Okay, so please remember to share. Um, for our TikTok page, the TikTok page is the Jamaican Dragon Slayer. For Instagram page, it is the Prophetic Author. And those who are following, if you're only using Facebook, then it is L-Y-S-S-A-E-N-N-C-L-A-R-K-E. -E. That's my personal page. But otherwise, there is a group that you can join, Holistic Healing Ministries Jamaica group, where we do our postings. So have a wonderful weekend and remember to always watch and pray for we don't know when the Lord will do what he says he will do and we need to operate in our purpose. We were created for a purpose. Do what God has created you to do. Take care, everybody. That's strange, Lord, when... I just heard a while ago that an earthquake is coming. I saw an image of mountains and then I hear an earthquake is coming. So I don't know if it's spiritual or physical. But we're asking you for clarity, Holy Ghost. Prepare, prepare, prepare for an earthquake is coming. Prepare, prepare, prepare for an earthquake is coming, for I shall shake the nation, says the Lord. Righteousness exalted a nation and sin is a reproach. Drills have come, drills have gone. This may not be the season that we're expecting these things to be in, but be prepared for anything in this season, says the Lord. Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> oh. 
I'm seeing a warning, he's saying again. Be prepared. Haven't I told you that there would be earthquake in diverse places? Haven't I warned you about this time? Haven't I told you in Matthew 24 what to expect? Say, oh, shake and they high. For there shall be wars and there shall be rumors of wars. Yo, shandai, kundandi, andandi, I. Prepare for a shaking shall come. Shake, 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 shake. I will shake the nations. My usandi and I. For they have blasphemed against my name. Show ikindandi, I. In these places where they are. Are worshiping the creatures, he says, Yondon de Bendi Ice and I. Shakings will come. Shakings will come even in California. Shakings will come. Shakings will come in Jamaica. Shakings will come. Shakings like what happened in Japan. Shakings will come. Shakings will come because behold, the bas and the I can die. They shall know that I have God. You know Shende the and I. Baphomet is not Lord. He is not God. He is not. Lord over all things. Behold, I am a jealous God. He says, He's jealous, he's jealous, he's jealous, he's jealous, he's jealous, he's jealous, he's jealous. And he will judge the iniquity of the people up to the fourth generation. He's saying, Behold, I have warned that I shall come like a thief in the night. Behold, I have warned that I shall come like a thief in the night. Have you not heard? Have you not heard? He can say, who am I? I am the brain maker. He says he is even the dragon slayer. He is Lord of all things. He is the righteous judge. He in the motion that he does not approve suit saying. He does not approve demon worship. He does not approve idolatry. What is happening in the world as the world gone mad? They are calling perverse right and they are calling right wrong. Mm, but all these are just prophecies coming to pass. Behold, a shaking is coming. Behold, a shaking is coming. Behold, a shaking is coming. Because I am the righteous judge. Watch, 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 watch and pray, says the Lord. Watch and pray, says the Lord. The Lord. God wants us to warn the people and remind them. Excuse me. That he shall come like a thief in the night. Jesus. Excuse me. No oh, one know the hour. Excuse me. No oh, one know the moment. The holy shall come like a thief in the night, says the Lord. Mm. Oh, too many unclean hands. He's very upset. He keep on saying Baphomet is not God. Why is it the, the people are calling for Baphomet and they're not calling for him? We need to spread the word. We have a commission. We need to spread the word. We have a commission that Jesus is coming soon. We need to spread the word that righteousness and holiness is still a requirement. We need to spread the word that righteousness exalted a nation and sin is a reproach. We need to spread the word, says the Lord. How did they beko sanda rabako sanda? Well, behold, he says he will hold us accountable for our jobs too. Hey, he will hold us accountable for what it is that we're not doing. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, he's giving us a warning. Where is it? Him? Hey, sata rabako sanda. He's giving us a warning. That he will hold us accountable for us not doing our jobs. 
again. Thus says the Lord God Almighty. I will hold you accountable. We are a man of Aniko Sanda. Now is the time for my people to rise up, he's saying. And he said, Bekosata. However, every time I pray, I learn something after you happen. I don't know about cleansing or something. Sometimes it just drain up on the body. I have warned, I have warned, and I have warned. I have warned, I have warned. Yama Osekete, I am not a doomsday God. I am a God who speaks about righteousness and judgment. When my people disobey, righteous judgment will come. If people choose to be stubborn and want to have their own way and do their own thing, then they will see what will happen. But God don't do things without warning his people. He will warn his people. Don't they want to hear the warning? Would they rather commodity? Calamity hit them. Now, nah, of sand, I'm seeing smoke. Smoke. Something will look like smoke. Smell, you know, like, like a mist. I'm seeing like a mist, but the smoke that is going up, it's going up into the nose of one big cow looking god. It's like a big cow that is on a wall, one big black cow. Is Molek your god? Why are we worshipping Molek? Are we supposed to do away with these things? Why did Jesus come? And what did the apostles teach about? What are they teaching our children? These things are going to open up curiosity like what they did at the Olympics. The children are watching these programs. The children are watching the programs and they did it, but they're going to be wondering what all these things are about. Demonic worship. Happening right there in the open for all to see and all to participate in demonic worship. People don't even know what kind of covenant they're getting involved in. Hmm? What is that? I'm still seeing it. Big old cow. Cow head. Black cow head. And the smoke of go to in front of your nose. But I will eradicate that false stench, says the Lord, that is coming up from my people. I will eradicate. Many will die. Many will die. <laughs> if a Lucifer, then one, then we get Lucifer. If a Buffer, then one, then we get him. <laughs> they can be with him, he says. If that is what they want, it's just a quote about there are many innocents affected. There are many innocents who haven't gotten delivered. There are many innocents who are under spells. There are many innocents, including his children, who are in traps. They are in bondage and they need to be released. But this season coming up, he's still saying that many will die. <laughs> So, we need to be preaching repentance in this time and warning the people of oncoming calamity. That's the word he's giving us, to preach repentance, make people get their life in alignment. Many will die. If it's not by earthquake, it's famine. If it's not by famine, it's flood. If it's not by flood, it's plague. If it's not by plague, is war and wars will come there's there is no escaping he says there is no escaping judgment so the race is on for the souls yeah yeah they they say they they be rebe rabababa sata but my instruction is i need you to free some people before the plague comes we need to evangelize we need evangelism teams we need serious people who are radical for jesus who are ready to step out and who step out and go up on the road and do people as see tracks being given out and i'm seeing it being done overseas too because i'm seeing people in courts too people who are willing to step out and take the risk to go to these people who don't want to hear about god just like in the days of old and let them know 
that there is hope and Jesus Christ is Lord and that there is another way. And that they'll be held accountable for their dealings. They'll be held accountable for what they do. There is always a choice and there is always hope. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. And I let no man tell you that they were born to be a homosexual or a lesbian. Because the perverse will not enter the kingdom of heaven. God is a deliverer and a restorer, he says. I will sever the Jezebel spirit that hinders from my people. I will sever the sexual demons that they have used to entrap my people through sacrifice from birth. I will sever even those who get hooked because they have been watching porn and they have been doing masturbation, he says, that encourage certain things. He says, I will deliver my people. There's nothing that I cannot do. I can even resurrect the dead. So what is that to free people? From sexual bondage. It is called sexual bondage. They want people to think that perversion is the way to go and it is okay. It is demonic. It is demonic oppression. And when people continue to promote demonic oppression, what happens? It is not okay. There are principles and precepts set out. And anybody we know with the struggles, let them come for deliverance. Because who the sun set free is free indeed. And once they have that desire to be free and they seek the Lord, once they seek righteousness and truth, God will reveal and God will heal. All they need to do is abide by my word and God will deliver. Excuse me, God will deliver. There's nothing too hard, he says. And this is a target market for us in this season because the enemy has been trying to tie up the younger generation with this to have them with perverse minds. So he doesn't want us to be rejecting them. He wants us to encourage them to give their life to Jesus so deliverance can come. He wants us to share our testimonies that we have with struggles, with pornography, with masturbation, with homosexuality, with lesbianism, with bestiality, with being sacrificed to ancestral shrines, with, 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 I'm seeing orgies. So he wants those sexual traps and snares and those things. People will have them testimonies. And people will know that Jesus Christ is Lord and we can be free from sexual bondage. It is like a sexual revolution is happening now, gone back to the Greek era. He's saying they are bringing back the Greek gods and he's not pleased. And I'm seeing like an image of these people in the past when they say the paintings, the paintings of the, of the deers. Like, it's like when they do the Olympic opening ceremony and the different people posing. They had this old picture with like Jesus and the twelve the disciples when they were having their feast. Them time an old time painting where Michael Angelo paint. That is what I'm seeing. He it said his disciples, his and apostles, they were radical for him. Radical unto the death. He wants to raise up some Peter, some Chan and some Jude and some Pals and he wants to raise up these kind of people for end times. Some people who not care about flesh, some people who say, I will die like Stephen. You understand? Who, who are willing to die because we're heading back into those days when people will be beheaded and people will have to suffer because of the name of Jesus. That's the time that we're heading in. One sec. You have to remember many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivers. We bless the Lord for He encourages and He strengthens and He gives us insider information. What I want, Lord, is for you to give us the specifics as to which country. And oh, you expect us to prepare and what kind of damage, that sort of a thing. Because last year, October, we get one earthquake and that the shake we up a little bit. 
You understand? Well, when we sell us a little bit, buy much. Right? He says he cannot tell me the time. But he, what he can see is an earthquake is coming to Jamaica and it will be big. And it will shake many. And many will be perturbed. And many will know that I am God. People need to prepare. Just like who they prepare for his coming. People need to prepare. So just like how we prepare for hurricane and we have a little food stock up. If you can, if you have it, prepare. You understand? Prepare. Because I dare send the Rabba Sata. I have warned and that is what you need to know. I don't know anything him saying. No, no come without him warning him people. An earthquake will come when we least expect it. And many will be scattered and many will be afraid. And many will know that Jesus Christ is Lord. When we do these things and we give these words, some persons, it's like a nine day wonder. For today, they're scared for the day and by tomorrow they forget and they're gone back into their old ways. I don't know when things will happen again like in the 1900s and the 1800s when radically when shakings happen revivals happen and people come in droves seeking the Lord. We have gotten so informed so bright with technology and information that we think we know it all and we think we can dispute all of the things that happen even in the natural world but man has forgotten that there is only one lord over everything i am not pleased because i am not hearing the repentance about what happened at the olympics Closing ceremony too. People need to repent for accepting the status quo. People need to repent for accepting what is being shown on a global scale. The demonic decrees that have been established and that has been going through the year. The demonic decrees that the nations are agreeing to and falling prey to. People have turned their backs on me and forgotten their allegiance, their oaths, that they will not serve any other God. Giving glory in entertainment to Molech. I don't know which God this is. I have to look him up. Giving glory in entertainment to Artemis. This is a Greek God. I'm going to look him up. It's not of me. Giving glory to Zeus. is not of me. Look it up. Artemis is a god of war. I don't know how they how they how they, 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 they worship Artemis, but let us see. We're gonna look that up. He's saying that there are many creatures that were resurrected. I I can't say for all of them because I did not watch when I when I turned on the TV and I saw the golden thing come up and I said what is this demonic thing they have flying through the air I came off it was obvious that they were doing a demonic ceremony so I did not watch the entire closing ceremony 
because it looked very demonic to me. And my thoughts were like, this is like the Grammys. But I guess we can find pictures because at this time it would be live streaming of them demonic worship and them chanting and them music and all of that. Right? God he knows what they chanted over these people across the world. God he knows. I don't know. He's just saying it's demonic worship. I'm seeing horns and idolatry. And God is not pleased. And we need to I I'm gonna have to give out a warning about it so i will come online and i will do a live tomorrow about it i may have to go back into the greek gods lesson for people to know that there are many common g gods that people worship and we are reveling in that we have to remember where france came from france was established it france never wasn't around during the time of jesus like that the city of France, France became populated with people from different countries like Germany and Greece. So once the Greeks are there and the Romans are there, they're going to bring their gods with them. So the Greek and the Roman gods are the same gods but with different names. So for example, you have Neptune who is the same god as Poseidon. One call him Neptune, one call him Poseidon. The got Hades, I mean, remember that, and he and Pluto, and these different gods, right? But last year when I taught on the gods, I gave a link, right? It, it's a lot of them, including who was on the mission last week with the set, it, it is the, the, was it a centaur? The minotaur. The minotaur, the bull that was oppressing the child that got deliverance last week. The minotaur, the bull that caused rebellion. We were dealing with the spirit of rebellion and we saw horses and this bull, right? And the minotaur was the name of that creature that was being used that comes with the stronghold of rebellion. He was just showing me the different demons that deal with these stubbornness and problems, right? So we have to be alert and we have to shun the very appearance of evil. When we see evil, we need to call it out for what it is and not be afraid. People are using new age as an excuse. People are using religious freedom as an excuse. But darkness and light don't mix. Darkness and light don't mix. We can't be bringing back these Greek gods. These were the Greek gods mentioned in the New Testament that Paul and Peter and, and, and all these different, Apollo, all of these different people were speaking against because they used to worship these gods in the temple. They used to worship these gods in the temple. And, and, and when you read in Revelation, Revelations 3 and Revelations 2 and 3 that speak about the seven churches, there were churches that had accepted some of these old tradition and God said he would cut them off if they are worshipping these things because God is a jealous God. So I'm looking at Artemis. Artemis is a twin here. Look, popular worship deity. She ruled over the forests and wild beasts, archery and disease. She was a protector of young and unmarried women. Let me. Somebody I think trying to come in. Let me see if I see a picture of Artemis in another way. Because they tend to show these pictures. Show these, these spirits in another way. He's, he's, he's very upset. So this is a battle god as well. Oh, Jesus, Artemis. God is, God is really upset. He says we need to repent. All of us need to repent for our ignorance. He says we don't even understand the type of warfare we're engaging in through, through entertainment. Through entertainment and sports. This is entertainment. 
and we don't understand the warfare we're engaging in. Um, Lord, I'm just seeing her with this quote. I'm not seeing her in another way. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Still saying popular Greek and Roman God of War. And people are worshipping her and don't even know. She, she has a thing that looks like a bow and arrow. <laughs> okay, she has something over it that looks like the Statue of Liberty as well. And she has horns of a deer. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, so we're going to have to repent and a bit on, for ignorance. I forgot to repent for our people and for allowing bondage to come unto our people by involving these Greek gods in our ceremonies and in our events. We don't understand that France is an evil place right now. <laughs> a holy power witchcraft traditionally happens there. It's not a Christian nation, a lot of cults, a lot of occult practices. But France alone could not have pulled this off. Oh wow. You know that woman who was sitting at the table with a spike all over her head with a picture where it looked like Jesus. I'm seeing an image of the goddess Artemis. She has the spikes, but it's, the spikes actually represent arrows. So it represents the arrows that are going all out, all over her head. She has a little moon-shaped thing on her head too. So she was sitting at the table. There's a light that comes from her. Whoa. Dangerous God, he says. He says he's a dangerous God. <laughs> dangerous God. Dangerous God. And we have this, this God as a operating like it's a principality. It's a God. It's a God. She actually operates in the heavenly realms too. So she's a part of the council. Hold on. She's a part of the council. She's a god of war. So we're going to have to. I'm going to have to go back and teach on the gods again. And I pray to God that we find some more pic some pictures to show. That. We're playing with fire. We're playing with fire. And this is this is I think this is also a god god that we see in like the cartoon Hercules. The cartoon Hercules show all of the Greek goddesses and gods. Most of them. Right? Oh cool. He says she also does witchcraft to all of these gods. All of these gods deal with witchcraft. And he's saying she does witchcraft over nations. <laughs> witchcraft over nations. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Okay, so she in the in the history she's seen as the daughter of Zeus, king of gods. So she is. Hmm. She's not to be played with. All right. All right, Lord. Because I was here thinking that maybe she's like the wife of, of Pan, who is Lucifer. A room up and down in the forest. She's a go to the bus. I'm probably going to have to go tell some more into the story when we finish. 
as I don't remember doing Artemis in, in the, the book Demons and God Sorry and which is a real or something like that. So Holy Spirit is that if regarding the warning, are we okay? So those who just come on, I think Auntie June just come on. We got a warning about an earthquake coming to prepare. And he reminded us of Matthew 24. And uh, was doing different kind of praying, praying for the nation and for those who are enslaved in human trafficking and so forth. And then when he began, to, after he gave the word, he said, we need to go evangelize and tell the people that Jesus is coming soon and, you know, reconcile them to Christ. And we, we can't leave out the LBGTQ community because it's oppression. There are many who might have gone in there willingly because of what them watch perversion and stuff. But the majority who don't have no feelings or anything is because of witchcraft. All right, so sacrifices and altars and traditions and we have to help them because God has given us power and there isn't anything that he can do he will deliver his people once them want God once them want a change in their lifestyle once them know there's something wrong internally and they they are able to cause sometimes spiritual warfare can prevent you from accepting Jesus believe it or not God gave each of us free will but spiritual warfare can cause demonic oppression to the point where you can't accept Jesus. And another thing that he taught us last week, anytime a soul fragment is removed and that void is there in the person's soul, the demon that is ruling, that has control of that soul, have access to your soul. So he will be in your house. Wherever your soul is and your spirit is and your body is, is the spirit. So that demon is in your house. So we, when we were dealing with the seven headed dragon last week, right? And the, 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 the spirit was in Lucifer's lair. He says, anywhere it is that the soul is trapped, that demon that reigns over that soul is in the space of where it is that individual is causing problem. Okay? So the minotaur would have been a creature causing problem, rebelliousness and stuff. So Lauren, strategic direction right now because it's late and we have been pushing and I pray that we don't get burned out. I know that I'm Marcos and it's been taking a lot on my body for the last week. But praise God that you, you give strength. And I pray that everybody on the line will be strengthened. Is that a lot has been happening behind the scenes even without us being in active battle the angels have still been working he says the angels are still working to deliver his people he says he's not gonna allow me to raise anything else tonight but lunchtime tomorrow we can do that so he will allow us to continue to pray in the spirit and then we can go off to our beds and get some rest. All right. Again, many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivers. And he wants us to be aware of the coming of the gods, which is what they're trying to bring back. Woe be unto you, my people, if these gods come and take over our territories. So we have to pray for our nation, in Jamaica, they have actively engaged the ancestral gods. They have actively engaged Baphomet in communities and territories. He is also a Greek god because he is a Greek god Pan. But they did it was that about woe beyond to us if we invite more to get territorial rights over our children, over our properties, over our nation. We already have end time things coming. Spirits that are different, that are coming. They are they just see one something look like a brontosaurus, like one of, one of the dinosaurs. Just see something big like one dinosaur. We have end time principalities. We have things coming from China. Things coming from China to oppress. We have the Antichrist spirit that is coming from the West to help to, to attack. To keep us down, 
and will accuse uh, the other the Basata, the believers, and will cause blasphemy. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a dragon right now with a crown on his head. The dragon has several heads. But I'm seeing that dragon with the crown on the head. Mandi Kusanda Dabaki and I. So we have a lot that is working behind the scenes containing what he says. So you must get us ready. What we're doing now is like training. He's teaching us. Learn the lessons. Write the way you need for write. To record you need for record. Get whichever book you need to get. Remember there are principles in the books that are right. Dragon Slayer series, testimony series, yes, demons and witches are real. That book is a teaching book. I was supposed to fix something in it and re-release it this summer. Somebody just need to remind me because I, I forgot. Right? And it has the gods in it. I'm going to have to do that. But even as we speak and we, we do our thing, this will also become a part of one of the books. <laughs> 